Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. You no, know, I am not in Ross. I am actually in a van that I rented because I flew out to Vegas and rented a van to do a bit of adventuring in Utah, but I got really sick. I don't know if you can tell from the sound of my voice, but the day I rented the van, that night, got a really high fever, and I think I just kicked the fever a couple days later, but I'm still feeling really under the weather. So I'm going to try my best to put together a cohesive video, but I would just like to warn you that uh, I might be a little goofy. I might not make any sense. Currently in Bryce Canyon, Utah National Park here, and uh, it is snowing right now, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I don't want to not share that with you. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my best to film some stuff. Hopefully we can get some photos here, shoot sunrise tomorrow morning, maybe a little bit of sunset tonight if the sun pokes through. So we'll see what we come up with in this episode, but uh, bear with me and uh, let's hope that I continue to get better rather than worse for the sake of not only you, but also me. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining along. All right, so the weather is not very good, as you can tell in terms of the light and the lack of light. It's also very snowy. So this is a pretty good time to introduce you to Sophia, who I met back in Newfoundland all the way back in September, mm -hmm. even though she wasn't in any of the videos. Actually, uh, she was there for part of the iPhone video, but uh, she just helped me film. And now she's in front of the camera. How's it feel to be in front of the camera? Hello. It no. feels so very oh, different. You just got to say hi to the, the people. Okay. Hello, everybody. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> you got nothing? You did I got nothing. Like and subscribe? Yeah. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Okay. Buy a calendar. But No, it's already January. Oh. For next year. I haven't released that calendar yet. Oh, gosh. Also, yeah. you're, you're very short, so I got to like aim the camera really far down. Down here. How about we just do this, and then I'll just be I'll off camera. I'm my tippy toes. There we go. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, how long can you... Can you do that for? Okay, no, no. When I find my love, I'll take it by the hand and ask it why. All right, so the conditions never really got better. This is the sunset we're getting here in Bryce. As you can tell, it might be, well, maybe you can tell on the screen that it is snowing and uh, there's literally no light. But hopefully this winter storm that you can see in the background passes and we get some excellent sunrise light here with some fresh snow on the hoodoos. That could work out really, really well. So you have to stay tuned for that. Sophia, what do you think? It's definitely a little dark. There's like basically no light. Yeah. Well, you're from Canada. You're, you're used to this, yes? <laughs> some days. Does it look this nice in Canada? In Ottawa? We don't have hoodoos like there are I don't, I don't think there's hoodoos exist anywhere else but here. I think really. so. Only a few spots in the world. In the world, yes. Where else do they exist? Uh, when I was reading on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell us about Wikipedia. Uh, yes, my very reliable source. I think there's some in China and there's some, I think, in Turkey as well. I believe there's some in Italy as, as well. Maybe. Yeah. By the Dolomites? Mm, yeah, they, they're called like mushroom something and they're kind of like hoodoos. Yeah, I think so. they're called different things. Do you think well, the legends there are the same as they are here? There's legends? What are the legends? The legend of the hoodoos. The native people here believe that when you were bad, the coyote would turn you into a, into stone as punishment. Oh. So these are all these are the, all bad people. All the criminals of our past. All right. So tomorrow morning we'll either shoot sunrise or I'll be turned into a hoodoo. <laughs> so stay tuned for that and uh, cross your fingers. Uh, what are you up to? Making dinner. Making dinner? What are you making? Uh, chicken with soup. Looks pretty yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. You want some tomatoes? No. No? No. Are you sure? Mm. I thought I said no tomatoes. <laughs> hey, I'm cutting peppers. Those are tomatoes. These are peppers. No, those are peppers. Those are tomatoes. These are peppers. I said no tomatoes. You know I don't like tomatoes. Eat your vegetables. They're a fruit. <laughs> Got them. Oh, much healthier than how I normally eat in the car. Which is? 
I don't I don't usually cook. Do you want green onion? Sure, I guess so. Ooh. Fancy. How is it? Perfect. We got everything in one bite. Oh. Tomato, lettuce, and chicken. Tomato! <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine doesn't have tomato, right? So how do you raise This isn't going well. Hey, pardon the action, but Ross needs a new windshield, so I'm happy to say that today's video is partnered with Mint Mobile. Have you looked at your wireless bill recently and gone, I'm paying how much? Do you even know what you're paying for at the rates that you're getting? Well, Mint Mobile offers it all with high-speed data, great coverage, unlimited talk and text, and most importantly for me, mobile hotspotting. Living on the road, one of the most crucial services I have, if not the most crucial service, is my mobile data plan. They offer all of this for as low as $15 per month, all while doing it an easy to understand breakdown so you know exactly what you're paying for. You might be asking yourself what the catch is to get services at such a low rate, and there really isn't one. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network and are able to keep costs low because they are entirely online without any retail stores and salespeople. Their website and plans are transparent at exactly what you're getting, and I love that. I've been using Mint Mobile on my iPhone 15 Pro Max for my comparison video, and my experience has been identical to my current service at more than half the price. And if you're on the fence about switching because you think it's too difficult, it's really not. A lot of new phones, like this iPhone 15 Pro, use eSIMs, and it only takes less than 15 minutes to get online and activated on Mint Mobile. And if you don't have an eSIM, they'll even ship you a SIM card for free. So if you want to try Mint Mobile, go to the link down below that says trymintmobile.com forward slash Alex Armitage to get premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. Beautiful morning we have here in Bryce. We've got some fresh snow. I'm gonna try not to ruin all of it. I'm gonna set up right here. Try to get ourselves a portfolio worthy shot here this morning. The conditions look really great. Sun's coming up in about eight minutes. Don't have much time. Set up our wide angle shot. Maybe set up a telephoto with the other camera. See how much time we have. There's a fresh layer of nice amount of snow. And uh, we've got some great clouds in the sky, as long as the sun breaks through just enough. All right, the sun is coming up as we speak back here. I've got my shots set up here. It's about as simple as can be here in Bryce. I didn't want to overcomplicate things, but you can tell there's a lot of brush here on the edges of the walkway here. And at first I was going to use some of that as my foreground, but it was a little too busy. So I found this shot that's right down here, where you can see that there's a brush here, a little bit of brush over here, but there's a nice amount of snow right on the bottom of my frame that is framing the bottom half so that there's a nice complete feeling with the clouds at the top, snow at the bottom, but it's not too busy with too much of that brush. The sun is about to crest those clouds. I'm probably gonna have to bracket because you can tell the dynamics in this scene are gonna be very large. And uh, as soon as that sun comes above those clouds, it's gonna start illuminating all these hoodoos here. And it should look absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful morning here. Really glad I woke up for it, even though I'm not, uh, not feeling too hot. But it's actually a lot warmer than it looks, um, weirdly enough. I guess when it snows here, it's warmer because every day that it doesn't snow, it's much colder. Okay, sun's coming out. Let's take some photos. Oh, absolutely spectacular colors right now on these hoodoos. We're taking two different types of shots. We're taking the wide angle shot, F16, to get that nice sunburst as the sun is peeking behind the clouds right now and we're also shooting about f8 maybe f11 here f8 on the r7 i think i actually need to switch to my 18 to 35 because this is a bit too maybe a bit too close okay we've only got a couple more minutes of sunlight because the sun is going to go behind this top layer of clouds i've switched to the 18 to 35 i'm shooting about 55 equivalent while shooting wide on the 55 side you're going to see that I'm shooting roughly over here on these hoodoos that are getting some nice contrasted light with some shadows on the snow. But I'm not cutting my frame off. You can tell there's mountains in the background that look absolutely gorgeous. They're in shadow. So there's a lot of nice contrast even in these uh, more detailed 55 mil shots. I think some of the earlier shots on the wide angle 
are going to end up looking better with some more soft light rather than some of this more direct, harsher light. But right now, I think my eye is really geared towards this 55 mil side. I'm absolutely loving it. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at these layers. Oh, excellent. Absolutely spectacular. Wow. What a treat of a morning. All right, the sun is going behind those clouds as we speak. We are losing light. That's probably going to be the last light of the morning. It only lasted, what, 10 minutes? Maybe? Sophia shaking her head. 10 minutes. Wow. All right, I'm going to keep taking a few shots, and uh, I'll show you my favorites from this absolutely beautiful morning here in Bryce. I hope you're enjoying. Thanks for watching. All right, so what did you think of uh, those photos? Oh, the photos are great. You've already seen them? No, I haven't seen them at all. Then why would you lie to, th why would you lie to them? But I'll see them after. What did you think of the sunrise? Just in anticipation. The what? sunrise, the sunrise is good. Good? That was just good? Wow, okay, well, uh, clearly she's gonna be hard to impress uh, because I don't think they get that much better than that. All right, I think she's in for a lot of disappointment on this channel. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Hope you enjoyed the photos. Let's go get warm. What you cooking? Breakfast. No tomatoes, right? Oh, yeah, I got tomatoes. No, no tomatoes. Sorry. No. No. Yeah. All right, so Sophia and I are on a little afternoon jaunt here, but apparently she read up more about the hoodoos and wanted to talk to you about them. But we're not at the Hoodoos. I know that, but... We can talk about trees instead. Didn't you say they, you did a bad job of talking about the Hoodoos? I did do a bad job of talking about the and Hoodoos. And that you wanted to correct yourself for the people? Okay. What did you learn? The legend comes from the Paiute tribe, which are the native people that were in the area. Three hours later. But if you go out and you look at the Hoodoos, there's like all these different columns. Like There's so many people. It looks like there's... They're like a whole crowd of people. That's a lot of bad people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't turn into one, thankfully. <laughs> well, we have yet to see Alex. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Well, that's a history lesson for today with uh, Sophia. Would you like to say anything? Well, I was going to talk about trees, but that's okay. What? Look up at the sky when I find my love. So we just got on the road, headed to Capitol Reef from Bryce. It's about three in the afternoon after our little afternoon walk. And just not 10 minutes into the drive, absolutely insane conditions on this plateau off in the distance here. I got 100 to 500 on, you probably definitely cannot see it in that camera. But what's happening is the clouds have cleared from this plateau and it's revealed a lot of snow on it. But all this light is peering through from that afternoon light and it's letting through a lot of these nice natural shadows and highlights on the scene. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm shooting all the way at 500 with a polarizer, trying to cut out some of the haze from here to there because there is a lot of atmosphere in the distance. And the shots look really great on the back of my camera. I wish I could show you more in terms of how far away it is, but you'll just have to see the images. So I'll show you one of those right now. We've, uh, we're only 10 minutes into the journey here and I'm pretty stoked for sunset tonight because the conditions look really great. So we're going to be taking the Grand Escalante Staircase, I believe is what it's called, on the way to Capitol Reef. U.S. Highway 12. It's a pretty amazing drive. I'm just hoping there's not too much ice and snow on the road. But this is a great send-off just 10 minutes into our drive. Here's the shot. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to keep taking a few. When I find my love, I'll take it by the Explain all that I don't know, and don't you know my love will play no blame when I find my love. I'll call my hair all night, I'll take it for a stroll and look up at the sky.
stopped at one of the viewpoints in Grand Escalante and the conditions are absolutely gorgeous. It's very hard to see in this wide angle camera. I'm shooting basically at 500 mil all the way in the distance. Thankfully, because of the snow, there's not a whole lot of atmosphere between me and what I'm shooting. But I am using a polarizer trying to cut some of that out. But there's a bunch of these rays of light hitting right here. And off in the far distance, there's these red rocks being illuminated right in front of these mountains that are getting hit by snow right now. And that's what I'm trying to photograph. But the light is changing rapidly. So every time I take a shot, it changes by the time I take an another shot. I'm gonna keep shooting a few. I might fly the drone here just because, I mean, the scenery is just out of this world. And the conditions, I've never, I've been here multiple times. The conditions have never been this good. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, and it almost makes me forget that I am sick and sniffly and cold. It's actually not too cold uh, over here in comparison to where we just were. What do you think, Sophia? Nice. Uh, okay, well, she, clearly she's hard to impress. We got a good earlier for the sunrise and we get a nice for here in Grand Escalante. So I'm gonna keep taking a few shots, starting to snow a little bit, maybe fly the drone uh, and take you along for the ride. This is gonna be our sunset, probably maybe something else. So as luck would have it, the light was being blocked, so we decided to get moving, and as soon as we got moving, the light started to peer through. I'm just trying to get a little bit lower so that I can fly the drone and actually capture some light on some of these hills, because it is beautiful, but from where we were, there was just no light hitting into our scene, kind of like you're seeing right now in this shot, it's just all in shadow. So we're going down the hill just a little bit to try to capture some of that light that is on the images I just showed you from a distance at 500 mil. We're going to get a little bit closer and hopefully get the drone up in the air and capture some of that as the sun is setting. But we got to get there first. We're probably about five, ten minutes away, hopefully, and we're going to capture some of the... Oh, man, it is so beautiful. Woo! actual sunset was a bit of a bust, mostly because the sun got blocked by some clouds. And right when the sunlight did peer through, it was just this little tiny sliver of light on top of the plateaus and buttes here. And it wasn't really photogenic. This is definitely one of those sunsets that was far more beautiful in person than it was to capture on a camera. I did fly my Mavic 3 Pro for the first time, which I just got. It's inaugural flight. That was fun, but I don't think I got anything spectacular. I just took some standard road shots here on the top of this what I would say is a plateau. It's a really cool drive. If you've never done US 12 from Bryce to Capitol Reef, highly recommend it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It feels like you're driving through a national park the entire 100 mile stretch. So I'll show you one of the photos for that to end this episode. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. I don't know, what did you think of Sunset? It was beautiful. Beautiful? Wow, that's better than good and nice those are the only other two things we've gotten so it just keeps it gets better and better apparently it really does and of course this is the sunset right now uh, you're going to see some absolutely gorgeous light on the clouds uh, but we have nothing to photograph in the foreground that's typically what happens in landscape photography but that's okay still had a great day um, i feel a little bit better today than i did yesterday and all things considered got pretty lucky today with just random shots on the road the conditions in bryce this morning Everything has kind of came together and uh, this trip has turned around a little bit. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Here's the image that I just took and uh, stay tuned for the next episode or maybe I'll include a little bit more in this episode. Who knows what is going to happen. Here it is. I find my love, I'll take it by the hand and ask it why, why?